You probably you probably have a much easier time getting hold of the HRT as well. Don't tell your dog to your trance, for God's sake, don't do that. Tell your dog to you about as manly as they come, but you just fed up a shaving and you so you thought it'd be do, do that. And also you're worried about going bald. And the doctor be like, Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. Here's all your estrogen, mate. Water. 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 Thanks for the redeem. Yeah, hold on a second. Wait a wait a minute. Hold on. Before I give you this estrogen, you're not a trance, are you? You're not actually a woman, are you? No, I'm a totally, I'm a, I'm a man. God, no way. No, no, no. Trans, ugh, no, 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 trans, no. Can I have the estrogen, please, now? Because if he's trans, it's a lot harder to get then, suddenly. Let's catch up with the chat a little bit. I'll catch up with the chat and I'll go to chat. Chat scene, we're catching up with the chat. Um, Maya, I used to use hair cream like once a week. Now it's once a month. Okay, like IMAC or whatever it's called. I uh, I epilate, which uh, which is which is something there's no way I could have done. So I, you know, I epilate my 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 body and my legs, all of them, all of my legs. I'm not a spider, you know what I mean. <laughs> or am I? Um, and um, that's something I could not have done in the before times. It would have been just agony, you know. But now I'm like, yeah, this is mm, this is fine. It will take a while because it's taking a while to get my levels right. It does. It takes. There's like your body kind of fights it, but don't worry. It'll get the message. Your body will get the message soon, hopefully, or eventually. And then I'll be like, right, okay, fine. It's just that I was. Do I've been doing this. I've been doing this whole thing for a while now, but I guess I guess we're not doing that anymore. Okay, it'll take a while for the body to get the memo, but it will get the memo. It'll it'll give up the ghost eventually. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Last test, my T was one seven eight. And my E was 25. I don't know what units you're using, so I can't tell if that's good or bad. But, um, yeah, sounds high. Like, if your E is higher than, sorry, if your E is lower than your T, then that's the wrong way around. <laughs> my T is uh, 0 0.5. That's picomoles a litre, I think. We do moles here. Some places do like, um, lit, you know, p uh, pico liters or you know, micro liters or whatever. Uh, is that right? But we do moles in Norway, which does make sense actually. I think it makes sense. Will you build the daddy later? I don't know what you're asking me there. The daddy. What? <laughs> what daddy? Will I build a daddy? I've got lots of daddies, but I don't tend to build them. Gel and, a sh gel and a chic quattro. What? Uh, and I'm trying to figure out how to get a little cosmetic. This is how you shave gel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is some kind of shaving paraphernalia. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get a little cosmetic in for a daily thing. Cool. So you're not full time, obviously. Yeah. That's, and that's totally, that's totally fine. I wasn't full time at all when I was at, uh, you know, was that when I was the same point of view as, as you in HRT. Um, what I did in order to in order to be I feel like I could come out I I did my FFS first and actually I went full-time just before my FFS like three or four days you know because it was just such a safe environment I thought fuck it 
like, I know what I look like, but fuck it, I'm going to do it. And I did. And I never looked back. I remember so this was in Marbella because I went to facial team and I was with my brother and I remember that it was I mean obviously it was like it's quite nice weather it was November but it was still it was still quite nice sunny warm but not too warm and um I you know I'd put on makeup and I'd put on you know some feminine clothes and I was like right gonna just walk out now just gonna and that's it i'm just gonna walk out as a woman and that's it i'm not gonna go this is what i'm gonna do the door was there you know and i was like right open the door walk down the street that's that was that was done I just did it <laughs> but i remember it it's burned into my brain as a memory you know because yeah it was a big deal thousand stars facial hair is main one for me once that's under control i'll be pretty chilled it's a big deal getting your facial hair off is really a big deal i mean i don't know if you can you probably can't see anything on me i don't think from there but but i you know it's and it's not bad but i can still feel the you know a little bit of prickliness which isn't nice i shaved this morning right so but it's all it's all little gray hairs now and you know what? The, the thing is, though, women have hairs, right? Women have, you know, hairs on the face. This is the thing that women have. So I don't know if I'm just being a bit paranoid, maybe. <sighs> Glitter girl, so many little things to fit into a day. There's a lot of things. <clears throat> and Studio Ariel says, this is why I have a full beard, because you just can't be bothered shaving it. Yeah, shaving sucks. It does. It does suck. I thought it sucked as well. I love how for many years I just grow it out for a month or so, then take it down to the skin. But now I like the I like the ritual of shaving. Fair enough. That's that's good for you. I like that too. I'm glad that you like it. I mean, lol. Yeah. Aside from my quick growing beard, I actually like my body hair. So, lol. <laughs> that's because you're a man. I'm suspecting. I'm strongly suspecting this. <laughs> <laughs> Black Widow makeup, <laughs> it's on my legs. Took over a year to get my levels right. Yeah, it took me a while as well, but I think they're right now. Dandy Lee, I got a bunch of fancy teas as a present. My tea level is high. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it's Christmas, isn't it? You often do get fancy teas. <laughs> Go to the doctor and say, I'm a bit concerned about my tea levels. I've got this oolong, I've got Earl Grey, I got Christmas tea. <laughs> Last time my tea was 1.3 and E was 456. It's a nice, nice number, isn't it? 456. 799. Mine was half, 0 0.5, same as mine, and E was 906. Similar to mine, I think that. Oh, thanks, Thousand Stars. Yeah, I got it done the other day. Uh, Yesterday. I, yeah, it was yesterday. Okay, I got it done yesterday. Thank you. It's good, isn't it? I get my hair. It's good to have nice hair. Dandy Lee, you were building the mummy. What about the daddy? Oh. Oh. oh I don't know about that. I think that's a ban, honestly. <laughs> I think that's a 10 minute ban. <laughs> Somebody needs to punish. Exactly, Dandy Lee for bad humor. <laughs> out the window. What is that? What is Dandy Lee? Either fly or fall. Evening, Bill. Did you hear the joke? I hope not. Uh, sorry, I'm building off camera. I'm sorry about that. Hello, Carl. Hello, people. Says Carl. I'm building Indiana Jones's um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Lost. Lost tomb? Lost tomb? Maybe. And we're talking about hair. And other things. Lots of things, really, but hair? I think we're mostly talking about hair right now. 
we were talking about Highlander 2 because Highlander 2 is set in 2024 and it looks dog shit <laughs> oh you're a moth so you just float away well you just f flitter away like a moth um, I can speak mo I can speak to moths it's this you just get this that's how moths speak Gandalf taught me. Uh, good girl. Wait. Wait. Is going full time different than I thought it was? I'm socially out everywhere. Is that different than going full time? Ah, uh, no. No, no, not really. No. Um, I don't think so. So, so I call it full time. Social or socially out everywhere. That's also full time, I suspect. Yeah, I think it's probably the just it's, it's probably just the same thing. It's just different words for the same thing. Oh. So the thing that made me think you weren't full time though was because you were talking about. Hold on, what, what did you say? You said I'm still trying to figure out how to get a little cosmetic in for a daily thing, right? And I that made me go light. I, I kind of jumped the shark a little bit there and thought that that's because you weren't full time or you weren't socially out, you know. Uh, so you were trying to kind of sneak it in and so that people wouldn't necessarily notice, but you knew you would have it. But um, no, you're full time. That's cool. It was a simple misunderstanding. Because when I'm at home, I just grunge and comfy. It's nice to be grungy and comfy. That's what I do as well. I grunge and comf. Grunge and comf. <laughs> yeah, it's only when I it's only when I go out that I make a bit of an effort, but sometimes, well sometimes, not always actually. Sometimes I just don't bother. Like if I'm just going to the shops. But if I'm going for drinks, then yeah, I'll make a bit of an effort, won't I? We'll make an effort then. It's the snake pit. Exactly, it's the snake pit. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh. Okay, so this goes here. This little thing that I made, I don't know what it is, but it goes here. Huh, that doesn't, okay, that doesn't do much, but fine. Hmm. Put so bright light. Waits for Dandy to fly into it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Peace. Okay. So hopefully I'm going to get a Lego delivery. Uh, oh, is it next week? Actually, yeah, I guess it'll be next week, maybe. Yeah, it's next week. I'm going to get a Lego delivery later next week. Uh, my brother's coming to visit. He's going to bring some Lego that I've got delivered to my parents in the UK. So he's bringing it over. And then hopefully I'll be able to build the Enterprise. Assuming I ordered all the pieces I needed. I'll certainly have got a most of them. Huh. Little sticker. It's like a cobwebs and then eyes. I don't know. Okay, and this just goes here. Like so. There we go. Says, yeah, socially out everywhere. Just trying to get into the habit of using some cosmetic daily. I'm scared shitless of us. Or shirtless. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, of eyeliner. Got a fair idea on mascara. 
minus color correcting. I've got foundation, stroke concealer, mostly sorted. I'm trying to find a good lip color that has impact yet. Not like a, a night look. Sounds good. Just kind of, it's just, it's just finding the time to do it. Yeah. So I guess you were one, so good ago. Were you a kind of a kind of trans woman who's like, um, it's you, you figure out that you're trans quite late. So you weren't, so you weren't like cross dressing for a long time uh, or anything like that. You just kind of like, oh shit, I'm an, I'm trans, and now I gotta learn all the things. Is that the, is that the sitch? Because. I've been doing it a long time and so you know even though I've not been out at all you know um I have been doing it a long time um and so you know I learned makeup to a to a certain extent you know before I before I transition and so I sort of I sort of forget how difficult it is honestly you know um because it it is something that a lot of trans women who are newly out struggle with and even trans women who aren't newly out who've been actually transitioning for like two three four whatever years they actually still struggle with makeup i don't know what it is but it's just they yeah they really do struggle i can kind of really see it Like, I'm not saying like I'm a makeup expert or anything, but, you know, I'm... I know enough to know that some girls don't. Mm, what's that? Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. There's some interesting things going on here. I mean, I am a little bit of a makeup expert. Okay, I couldn't let I couldn't let that one hang indefinitely. Sorry, <clears throat> I do okay. Okay, yeah, uh, quite late. Got decades of catch up to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I figured. <clears throat> yeah, well, of course, practice makes perfect. Um, no surprises there, right? So what? You're not telling me what to do, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, you do. You tell me what to do in a pop-out. <laughs> Last November was my four-year rebirth day. Rebirth day. <laughs> Thousand says I was in my thirties. Took a while to get used to makeup and more getting it how I wanted it to look. It's tricky because a lot of the um, you know a lot of the tutorials and stuff on YouTube or whatever they're all by a lot of them are by cis girls, yeah, and they've got you know perfect twenty-year-old cis girl faces. And so it doesn't quite, it often doesn't quite translate, you know? Not that it's useless, like there's still a lot of good stuff there, for sure. But it's also, you also sort of need to adapt it a little bit. Hey to Shana Koneko, sorry, Shana Koneko, hello. Happy Christmas, Shana Koneko. Thank you. <laughs> Glitter says, never had an awkward makeup phase in my tweens, early teens. <gasps> well, you know what? My girls are killing it. <laughs> I wish I was as good at makeup as... No, not really. But, you know, they are definitely getting a head start. And, they, and they're interested and they like it, you know. It's like something that's really interesting to them. Okay, I don't see the piece. 
Oh, there it is. Yep. It's in the hiding. What else says? I mean, cis girls learn this from their moms or girlfriends, etc. During growing up, most and when you're growing up, when you're like in the, at that age, you learn things a lot quicker. You know, it's like you can do things and learn things then at a much. You're like a sponge, so it's you know, it's much easier. But when you're in your forties or thirties or whatever, it's a lot. It takes a bit longer. It's, you know, it's kind of learning things. It's a bit painful <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so yeah, uh, most trans girls I assume have not had much to do with makeup before realizing they're trans So I can understand that. Oh fuck. Indeed. That is the general reaction Or kind of a common kind of thing that happens. It's like, oh no, I'm trans. Oh fuck. Oh no I've got all these things I gotta do. Oh no <laughs> Where to start? It can be quite overwhelming, you know But I think if you're motivated enough, so if you're motivated enough, it's something that you actually really want. Just like, you know, cis girls when they're young, they, you know, it's like, I really want to do this. I want to be good at this. Then that's, you know, that's like, you're 90% of the way there, you know, if you really want to do it, then you will do it. And also understand that you can do it. It's not something that, oh, I can, I'll never get it right. I'll never be able to do this. It's like, that means that you won't do it because that, that's literally your mindset. But if you, if you, if it's something you think you can do, then you will be able to do it, you know? And I think, you know what? I think makeup's really fun. It's not cheap though. <laughs> That's another thing. Don't buy cheap makeup. Buy buy good makeup. Hello, Lena. Hi, nice to see you there. I didn't I almost missed you. Wearing your earrings. Of course I am. <laughs> Hope you had a really good Christmas, Lena. How was your Christmas and New Year? Did you have a nice time? <clears throat> thousand stars though even though though even though didn't realize until being in 30s i'd say being trans knocks off at least 10 years how i feel anyway yeah okay cool so you feel a bit like a 20 year old mm -hmm. me too oh you know what i got i got a coke i didn't even see that i got a coke i brought this up hmm. oh yeah Nice. Andy says, time to start a cis girl, adopt a trans girl to teach her makeup skills program. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Or, but also just, uh, you know, just um, an older, an older trans woman can do it too. Sometimes I do my makeup on stream before I start the stream properly. Oh, uh, no, I mean, I started the stream, but I haven't done my makeup, and so I do my makeup for the first, you know, 20 minutes or something for the stream. Let me know if that's something you'd like me to do, because I can actually make a point of it if you like. Show you my routine. You know, you've, maybe you've already seen it, but maybe you haven't. Maybe that's something you'd be interested in. Because, you know, I got a few. I got a few techniques, special techniques. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate the stickers. I fucking hate stickers. There we go. <sighs> okay. And even simple looks like have like a hundred steps in makeups. Yeah. Go, go, go. And I walk, I walk through the cosmetic sections of the shops and get almost instantly overwhelmed by all the stuff going on and it's like I want to look good and put together but being colorblind I have no idea where to put, start putting a look together that makes sense oh yeah being colorblind isn't gonna help but it's also not I mean as far as I understand it I think it's you're gonna be okay it's not gonna be a major hindrance either though you should be okay Be 
being colorblind. Huh. I just wonder if being colorblind. It's like, so being colorblind is actually male, predominantly a male trait, isn't it? That? I just wonder if, I wonder if hormones can actually help with that. Do people kind of, does the colorblindness get better on HRT? Is that a thing? Am I just making something up right now? I could be, but oh, but is that a thing? Because I, I also wouldn't be surprised if that was actually something that happened. Edel, best thing to do is get a female friend to help with the very basics. Errols, right. And if you're colorblind, my suggestion is to put together sets of makeup you know works or get told works together, maybe. Yeah, because you can always get people to help you, even if, you're, even if, you know, it'll be the person in the shop, hopefully. If it's a decent makeup shop or decent, decent makeup place, the sales assistants and stuff, they should... They should be really able to help you. You know, just go in, tell them, tell them the sitch, and you know, the chances are good that they'll be more than happy to help out. Trick is okay. Here's, the, here's my trick. Here's my top tip. Here, look. You know, if there's like a bunch of sales assistants, pick the one with the best makeup. Go to her and say, "I need your help." I need your help specifically, because you've got the best makeup. <laughs> you will make her day. Thousand stars. I swear by revolution makeup. And a friend got me the Poison Ivy Harley Quinn palettes for Christmas. Very nice. Thousand stars. My wife taught me. I have tried to, to I've tried to help others as well since. Thank right, you. Studio Ariel, maybe we should get Maya do a makeup tutorial for the first 30 minutes. Maybe you should. Uh, stream tomorrow. Yeah, let me know. And um, my, my stream tomorrow, first 30 minutes, I can do my makeup. If you like. Happy to do it, honestly. I've done it before and I'm sure I'll be doing it again. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Hey now, had a good time. Just good, just home and chilling. That's nice. And you? Just want to say hey before I'm gonna go out. You're gonna go out. Have a really nice time out. Uh, yeah, I had a good. I had a good Christmas too. Lots and lots of food. It's a good food. Good drink. Lots of nice wines. Yeah, and just mostly chill, you know, mostly chill with the family, been playing Minecraft and uh, making Lego with the girls. Sort of getting into Minecraft a little bit more actually now. I don't know, maybe I, um, I've given, I've given it a bit more um, time and I'm starting to, um, starting to get it a bit more now. Because for a long time I just didn't get it, you know. So okay, Ariel says Carol, color blindness does not get better from HR2. Fair enough. How do you know? Did you check it? Did you do research just then? Babylon. Wow. Then we know it's for real outside. One of the military helping the MS units is stuck in the snow. One of the military. Oh no, that's a proper snowstorm. Hope you're okay. Hope it's not gonna affect you too much hope you got power and all that kind of thing power water heating you got your candles ready you got firewood do you use firewood i don't know Uh, it's a lack of certain rods in the eyes. They won't automatically grow back. Well, God damn it, that's inconvenient. Never mind. But HRT does affect um, rods and cones. You know, I don't know. It does. Are you sure? Have you just assumed that, or have you actually done the proper research? Because I would, you know, I would be interested to know for sure. Good to go. Meanwhile, I'm over here in the Nix Revlon Maybelline section going, Ooh, this stuff's pricey. Oh, in the, really? Yeah, well, it's ex in that area, it's kind of pricey, but it gets a lot more pricey than that. 
Um, I'd avoid Maybelline. It's often a bit oily. But NYX is quite good, actually. NYX is pretty good. Um, I would say the NYX is the best brand out. That's the... Hmm. Well, yeah, so sorry, turns out Google nuked my stuff for a bit. They did what? You're back now. What did Google do? What did they? What? Stop having Google nuke you. Yeah, don't let Google nuke you. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know what, what's happened, but that shouldn't be allowed. Well, it is kind of surreal. Denmark is a little country, but we are separated in two. Where I live, it's only rain, but half of Denmark gets the snow. Hmm, not even the distributed weather. Denmark is kind of small. I always kind of think of that. I, you know, I've driven through Denmark quite a few times and relatively speaking, it doesn't take that long to drive through you. <laughs> I'm not trying to diss Denmark or anything. Like small's good, it's fine, but I'm just, it's, it's quite quick to get through. I really no idea what exactly happened, just the player wasn't loading for a while. Hmm, I see. But it's a good chunk of snow, huh? Denmark is quite tiny. Babylon says, no, and I want the snow, and Aurelia's got it all. It's not fair. Aurelia, maybe you could send her some? Like, like in a bag or something? Maybe you could sell her some. <laughs> How much is a bag of snow nowadays? <laughs> okay, you don't want it that much then. <laughs> it's not really a market for it here in Norway, I'm afraid. That would be like trying to sell sand to the Arabs. No point at all. We are a net exporter of snow. I think it's one of our primary industries, actually. Primary exports. I want a truckload so I can go out and play. Bill, disclaimer, bags of snow may need refreezing on arrival. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you, um, it's when you're looking at online and stuff and it says uh, actual item may be different from that, from that pictured or whatever. It'll be Wish Snow. <laughs> Don't order your snow from Wish. Ariel, I only assumed from what I know about color blindness from voice and assumption. Don't make assumptions with regard to this kind of stuff, Ariel. You'll be so surprised, honestly. HRT does affect color perception. I only assumed, yeah, uh, but I did some research now and it seems consensus is that hormones does not affect color blindness. Uh, thanks for doing the research. Um, it's called, since it is genetic and the cones and rods that is doing, since it's genetic, yeah, but doesn't matter because it's about gene expression. And when you're on HRT, what do you think changes? It's the gene expression. So it doesn't take the genes from the Y, it takes it from the X. Um, the cones and rods are doing the color perception and it's created before and right after birth. It's the first, first months. It's not affected by hormone levels changes. Actual working color vision can be affected though. I see what you mean. Okay, so it, you know, whatever you've got, 
will be affected but if it's if you don't have the rods or whatever then fair enough I guess so See, our bodies are always you know they're always rebuilding stuff so I'd be it's sort of surprising when when I find out that's like yeah no that the body doesn't do anything it's like once you've got your rods and cones they last for the rest of your life really because my in my experience most cells need replacing you know the body's constantly rebuilding them or maintaining them and killing them and then you know flushing them out hmm bubbling no don't order from wish the delivery times we will be smelted before arrival you don't want wish snow anyway it'll be bad quality snow It'd be like plastic, plasticky snow. <laughs> it's like, what the hell kind of snow is this? <laughs> this isn't snow, this is just polystyrene. <laughs> human bodies suck. Well, you say that, but also human bodies are amazing. I don't know. I'm sort of on the side of human bodies are amazing, honestly, because um you know they are like yeah they're a bit sucky too for sure you know especially when you get a big pimple on your nose or whatever but uh, you know but mostly they are amazing i think it's the most it's the most priceless thing you'll ever own Oh, that was a bad sticker. Oh my god, I really messed that up. My stickering abilities suck. Uh, okay, should we have a poll? Ready, are you, are you there? Or has Google killed you again? Oh, I can't do this. That's That'll do, that'll do. Yeah, no problem. Just do what you're doing. Right, I messed that up. Oh, I totally messed that up. Oh, I gotta rebuild that. Puff what? Human bodies. Human bodies, Aurelia. What do you think? So, whole. So, human bodies. Do they suck or are they amazing? It's like I wanna. I know it's a very binary thing, right? And I don't want a third option. I want people to have to go one way or the other. Let's let's find out what people think of bodies. <laughs> so Errol says human bodies suck. So he's gonna he's gonna do that. I think human bodies are amazing on balance. So that's what I'm gonna do. But what does everyone else think? That's a funny little poll. Our own, no, it's definitely uh, our own bodies. So it's your relationship with your body, you know? This is like a test. It's like a test. It's how, how do you relate to your body? And depending on your answer, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get a bit of an insight, aren't we? <laughs> Human bodies. <laughs> Great. Cool. I'm voting. Everyone vote. It's quite an interesting. It's quite an interesting question, I think. Awesome! Look at this. So I've just put some um, statuey thingies in. It's coming together, actually. This it's coming together quite nice. So, yeah, this this bit of wall is gonna they, that's gonna kind of collapse through, isn't it? I can see that. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. We have got some votes in, and the results are interesting. Well, they're not results. Early results. They're not finished. But so far, amazing, fabulous. We are kind of positive, positive, body, body. <laughs> we are body, body, positive, positive. That's not how you say that. Body positive. 
so far. You know what? And that's good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. But, you know, let us know your thoughts. There's, there's, no, there's no right or wrong answer. No. It's because it's your relationship with your body. I'm not going to tell you what you think about your own body. That would be silly. Right, what's happening? Okay. Huh. Huh. It's mummy, mummy guy. Oh yeah, he just falls down. Good, good, good. And then we got a snake. All oh, right, a snake. We got a snake dispenser. Huh. Check it. So the snake, snake goes in here, and then you just dispense it. Hold on. Let me turn it around. Dispense the snake. <laughs> Everyone, every every good tomb needs a snake dispenser. This is an interesting poll, honestly. It's quite interesting. I like I like the fact that we're getting a fairly even, fairly even split. Mostly it's positive, but this you know it's interesting. It's not finished yet, that's for sure. And just to just to clarify, this is how this is sort of how you feel about your body. So you don't you're not necessarily talking about everyone's bodies, right? Because some people have amazing bodies, etc. And some people have terrible bodies. But you're thinking about your own bodies. Like how do you feel about having this sack of wet, meaty stuff sloshing around, controlling it? They can do amazing things, but they can also be a right pain in the ass. So it's, you know, it's true. Glitter Girl says, I'm kind of bi on that. Because bodies are absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Yet they are the most amazing machines on earth. That's the thing, isn't it? And also, of course, disgust is a is an emotion or a response that's you know that's you know it's evolved to protect us from bacteria and things that are going to make us sick or whatever you know. So we get disgusted at things that might cause us to get infected or to you know ingest some like you know poo or whatever you know. So that's why we have that kind of emotion of disgust. So again, it's sort of amazing, isn't it? Because <laughs> it's um, it's our instincts protecting us. Of course, it can go too far, and some people can get disgusted at the wrong things, and that's how we get to racism and transphobia and all this kind of stuff because they're disgusted by the idea that you know. Of what we are, they don't. That they are scared of it. xenophobia, you know? and they think that what they have is a reasonable concern, but it's not. So they have to kind of justify it by retroactively kind of thing. You know, like the initial response is disgust. They don't know why. It just is, and they're like, right, okay, well, but no, but then it's it's not being me being unreasonable and going and going off my dodgy instincts it's actually that they're a threat to w women's toilets you know we, we threaten women's toilets or something so they have to retrofit their own justifications in order to understand the, or, or in order to excuse their disgust which is a shame Bag three. I need to do a wee, actually. So maybe I'm just going to go do a wee. Let the poll finish. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to go do a wee. I won't be long.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. And I'm, you know, I'm not that bothered about this camera angle. Let's just... Yeah, that's a bit better. So, yes, the bodies. Bodies still going. If you haven't voted yet, you still probably got about a minute. Maybe a little longer to get your vote in. So how do you feel about your body? It's an interesting poll. Just for fun. Just for fun though, don't worry. I'm not going to sell the res results to a third party. Much. <laughs> you also almost voted Amazing Fabulous because of the fact that it's called Amazing Fabulous. <laughs> Um, you specified our own body. Yeah, that's right. My body sucks. Right now. Telling people how they feel about their own body is a, st distinct a distinctly turfy thing to do. And I would never do that. Bodies, yes. Personality inside them is the tough bit. So, so a uh, thousand you're on the terrible, terrible side? Obviously, it's about the person inside the body, yes. For sure. Bodies, bodies generally are capable of pretty amazing things. I think. So what always gets me is that when you watch, so when, you know, let's say you watch, let's say you're watching the Olympic Games, yeah, and you're watching these incredible athletes do ridiculous things. Like it's not. Okay, we got the results. It's amazing, fabulous. Thank you, everybody. Very nice and positive. I like it. So you're watching an you're watching an athlete, and they've obviously trained for many years. But most of them are quite young. The thing is, though, and you're watching anything. I could never do that. I could never do that. I could never do that. Right. So, and maybe maybe that's true to a certain extent because you know most of the people who are athletes are in the twenties. You know, so if we're in the thirties or forties, it's going to be a lot harder to be able to do that kind of stuff. But if you'd started the same time as them, and if you'd trained for as long as they have, it's like all those things that they're doing, they're not superhuman. They are they are just human, you know? So in other words, if you dedicated enough of your life and effort and really wanted to do it, it's absolutely within the realms of possibility that you would be able to do these crazy, amazing things, you know? Maybe you even can. I don't know who's watching. But I think that's kind of neat. I just think that's kind of neat, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, they don't actually think we're a threat to women in toilets, but just that we're a threat to the toilets themselves. Exactly. I fucking hate toilets. I just, I just smash them up. And I see a toilet, I get, you know, I get really angry. <laughs> Studio Ariel. I mean, I've cleaned both male and female toilets after hours in a bar. There is no difference between male and female toilets. They're both disgusting. I know. And that's another funny thing that uh, seem to think. I don't know if... Do they think it or is it just uh, one of these things that they pretend to think? Who knows with tests? They're so fucking... Oh, they lie. They lie. Um, so, um, you know, they say the women's toilets are all clean and nice and pleasant smelling and all this kind of stuff. So have you ever been in a women's toilet? And they think that men are automatically just dirtier and filthier than women. That men are more likely to pee all over the toilet or pee on the floor or whatever. And it's like I can tell you from experience that that doesn't seem to be the case. I'd say it's about a 50-50 split. I've been into some pretty gross female toilets. But 
you know, not a tough thing, but you know, women's toilets are all clean and pure and innocent. <laughs> this is so fucking weird, aren't they, these people? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, what I do not get is how females, females, who I assume mostly sit and pee, we do mostly do that, manage to pee just as much outside the toilet as guys do. That's again my point as well. I don't. So sometimes what happens, I can tell you right now, n not that I have ever done this. This is hypothetical entirely, maybe. Um, it's like you think you finish peeing, you've been on the toilet, you think you finish peeing, you get up and suddenly a little bit more pee comes out. It's like, oh shit. I it finished. No, yeah, never mind. I will clear it up. <laughs> hypothetically, that's an entirely hypothetical situation that I just made up. Just, I'm just kind of, you know, that might, that might be it. What's really funny is that they'll say the trans women and in the bathroom is a massively huge problem. Yeah, completely gloss over the fact that it's men that are the problem to begin with. No, it's total bullshit. It's total bullshit. Um, they're confusing trans women for male sex offenders. So they think trans women, male sex offender. No, it's not. Those two completely different categories. Yeah. You know? So let me let me tell you this. In, in the history of the world, <laughs> no male sex offender has gone up to the toilet and went, right, I'm going to do some crimes and raping and stuff and I saw a woman in here oh sh no shit that there's a it says this is a female only toilet it's got like that symbol I can't go in now it's like it's like a energy barrier I just I literally can't penetrate it can't do any kind of penetration today fuck that's really spoiled my plans for the weekend never mind I'll just go I'll just be on my way crime failed is that, is that what they actually think happens when they see that little women's symbol on the door? That's what men, that's what the men who are sex offenders actually sit, do, you know? Because that's never ever happened. That's a, that's an obviously ridiculous scenario. The guy wouldn't give a shit and they don't give a shit. They just, they, they just go in, right? That, and that's what happens. And then the women, potentially a solitary women, because they've been watching it, a solitary woman, you know, she's in big trouble. What the man doesn't, what the what the sex offender does not do, is go through the trouble of going to the GP, going to counselling, getting psychologically evaluated, getting on hormones, wearing women's clothing, socially transitioning, getting rid of all the body hair. They don't do all that stuff, and then go into the toilets in order to assault women. Do they? I mean, it's, it's no, they don't. So it's just such a disingenuous argument. It doesn't, it doesn't pass any kind of scrutiny. But that's what they seem to be going on it all in on. Anyway, well done already. I'm glad you first voted positive because bodies are amazing, aren't they? Thousand stars. Oh, my own body. Thought you meant in general. Hate it all right now. Legs are good, though. Legs are good. Good, good. Legs are good. <laughs> it's, it's something. Like, if I have to choose between the above, I have to say positive. It needs work, and there are plenty of things I'm not so fond of, but at least it's kind of shaping up to be the right kind. Also, boobs. Boobs. Big bonus. Legs are good, so I'm told. I'm sure, I'm sure you're told correctly. It has boobs. I can't complain about that. Your body has boobs. Very, very nice. I'm sort of struggling here. Oh no, okay. So these are gold. It's not obvious from the picture, but these are gold. Right, gotcha. To be honest, there was really not that much of a problem either way. Where I worked, we had to close one of the female toilets for a while, and we made the male toilet next to it unisex. No one complained. No issues. Not a problem. Note, we did not close the urinals. No, you know, yeah, totally. It's not a problem. It's a made-up issue. It's just a completely made-up issue that doesn't... It actually has no basis in reality. And turfs just go all in on it. And they have to make up... They have to make up scenarios which are entirely made up, which don't happen. 
in order to justify you know the stance boobs for the win thousand michael schumacher first sat in a go-kart at four it was tied to a pole and he just went round <laughs> he just went round and round uh, in <laughs> in motorsport a lot start even when they are too young for official competition yeah really good start as, as, as early as possible no matter what right Glitter girl i've been to concerts and sports events and theaters used the bathroom and even when packed full of cis women they don't bat an eye i go in i do my business wash my hands and get out i might socialize a little bit but i'm quite efficient and it seems yeah me too i'm kind of just like it's just some you know it's like i've got to be here because i need a wee but then i'm gonna go and do the thing that i'm actually meaning to do which is not go to the toilet that's not really why i'm here <laughs> Bluish, hello Bluish, first time chat to Bluish in the chat. And Bluish says, comparing a tough urinal in a normal toilet isn't exactly a reasonable comparison either. Oh, it's sorry, not a tough, a trough, a trough urinal and a normal toilet. It's not a reasonable comparison. Yeah, a lot of, but then a lot of toilets aren't, they don't even, they don't even have the trough, your trough urinals, they're horrible. Oh, I hate that. But a lot of, you know, a lot of toilets are like just like completely enclosed cubicles as well, aren't they? But they don't, they don't like that either. <laughs> it's like, they just, they just don't want trans women to exist. That's what the problem is. Skin, the stickers aren't going to concentrate. I did it. I did it really well. Mm. Uh, let me go to the Berlin scene so you can see. So I've now I built this. I need to just move this out of the way a little bit. Hmm. Now let's just put this here. I think. Oh shit! My snake's on the floor. I got a snake on the floor. Oh! Why do you have to be snakes? Right. Got it. <laughs> so my uh, hold on here we go my theory is at least in bars and such that they're too fucking drunk to sit down right maybe like half on half off <laughs> potentially i don't know <laughs> i don't think that's always the case i think my my hypothetical situation is probably more accurate bluish getting mad at a person you invented in your head that's that's the turf island speciality it is isn't it <laughs> <laughs> I've just I've just invented this scenario in my head and actually I'm it's made me really angry. <laughs> it's like, maybe you should not think about that then. I don't know. The only people who ever give me any stink eye for going to the ladies' room are dudes. Oh, you know what? There's a, there's a, such a big thing about dudes uh, mouthing off. Going, if any, if any trans, if any man in a dress goes in a toilet and my daughter's in there, then they're gonna go home in an ambulance. That's like a, that's a common refrain, isn't it? <laughs> it's like this, they get really fighty. They get really, really fighty. Oh cool, the Ark of the Covenant, that's awesome. Look at this. Is that finished? I think so. Look, I've made the Ark. It's quite good there actually. I guess, uh, oh, that's gonna be good. Simple, but effective. So this goes here, right in the middle. Which you can just about see. I'll just bring it closer. There we go. Glitter girl, one topic. One topic, what's that? It says we just need universal pooping stations <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Gender doesn't need to play into it. Because everybody poops. 
Everybody says we. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you know, unisex stuff is fine, isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. But also, but also, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. There's, I don't. The thing is, I don't see that there's a problem. Honestly, I don't see that there's a problem that needs fixing here. It's like, you know, unisex toilets are fine as well. But also, gender toilets also work. And then, then people just go in and do the business. Generally speaking, it's not. It's not this battleground that turfs think it is. It just isn't. It's like, honestly, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Two of those. And if I've got a, I mean, so if I had to, if I had a preference, I would choose the gendered toilets, honestly, because I'd feel, I feel safer. But it's not a massive deal. Bluish. Oh, yeah, that was your first time chat. Damn, I've been lurking more than I thought. Oh, I left my ass off. <laughs> well, we're happy. We're happy that you've uh, finally joined us in the chat. Um, but thanks for lurking. How long have you been uh, lurking, do you think? Years. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, all right, because that is fun. Well, it can't be years, because I haven't been streaming years. But I've been streaming... How long have I been streaming, Aurelia? I've been streaming quite a long time now. A year and a half. I think it's a year and a half, about. Which isn't that long, I guess, but still. Thousand stars says thought snakes were meant to be in your boots. There's a snake in my boot. Um, yeah, they can go everywhere. You can you can get them on planes. You can get them in boots. You can even get them in ancient tombs. Actually, I uh, I've I've often uh, I've seen the, I've seen a lot of snakes here re for real. Honestly, I'm re for re like real talk. A lot of snakes around here. A lot of snakes. Not asps, obviously. Adders. But they can still be po they're still poisonous, right? Not in winter, obviously not now. It's in hot, sunny days, you know, they uh, they come out of the undergrowth and they kind of uh, bask in the sunshine on rocks and uh, on, on, uh, on pathways and things. In the forest. That's great, I love seeing snakes. Sometimes, sometimes I almost run over them on my back. Not, uh, not intentionally, you know. It's like I see them last minute and they're like, whoa, that was close. Oh. No, no, no. You stuff snakes in the overhead luggage bins on planes. Exactly. You do. That's, that's a, that's a common place for snakes. Although I've never seen that film and I don't think I ever want to. Seriously, the alpha alpha dudes need to s fucking chill and realise they're about on the level with the Neanderthals. I IQ wise, alpha dudes. <laughs> so funny, aren't it? <laughs> if I ever see a trans woman in the toilet, I'm going <laughs> to... I wonder what turfs make of Ali McBeal. They had unisex toilets in that series. It's from the 90s. We are... We are going backwards in so many ways. I know. Ali, Ali, Ali McBeal from the 90s was, was, you know. How's this How's this happened? Well, I know how it's happened. But it's annoying. I don't like it. Ah, oh, yes. It really says the same. I'd choose the ladies as well. If there were choices between ladies and neutral, I think it's just... It's, 
It's just better in the light, isn't it? It's better. It means we can, you know, we can just get naked and then wash our knickers in the wash our stinky knickers in the sink. You know, we can just get completely naked in the in the women's toilets and, you know, talk about women things. I think that's what they imagine happens, honestly, from what they say on Twitter. I think that that's really what they think happens, but I don't. I've never seen that. <laughs> so ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Blush. At work, they built your work. They built a new office. No, this is at where you, this is at where you work. Okay, they built a new office, put single stall unisex toilets in, then stuck gender labels on all of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's kind of bonus. Hmm, that's a little archway. It's kind of cool. Oh god, stickers. More stickers. <laughs> Why do they have to be stickers? <laughs> Indiana Jones, he doesn't like snakes. But I, um, I don't mind snakes. But stickers. Oh my god. Yeah, I've been streaming for 16 months. Okay, that's um, that's not quite a year and a half, but it's close. Yeah, I think I think one and a half years is closer. I joined you 16 months ago, right? But that's isn't that because you had to cancel your subscription or you had to? <sighs> yeah, I suppose it's about you and a half. <laughs> that's uh, brilliantly stupid of them. I don't know exactly what is, but yes, they are brilliantly stupid. They are. They really are. Ooh, that's this one. And honestly, it's been pretty it's been pretty nasty on Twitter recently. I don't know why. Just well I do know why, it's because of Elon fucking Musk, isn't it? But it's been it's been quite just constant and tedious, the transphobia. They really seem to have kicked it into a... Uh, oh! Picked it up a notch. Ah, oh, I just broke it all. Bollocks. I should not have been holding it like that. Okay, it's better. Like, it's almost every single post that I make. You know, just like, fairly, you know fairly innocuous posts, just selfies, my hair, you know, whatever. And they're just... Whew, there's a lot of blocking going on at the moment. And it always has been, but it just seems worse nowadays. Okay, uh, to be fair, says Ariel, that does happen sometimes. And then someone comes to complain someone is having sex in a store. Wait, what? You mean it does happen? People actually do kind of get naked and clean and wash the wash their underwear in the in the toilet. That does happen. I've never seen or heard anything like that. Thank God. And also, but you were, okay, so you worked in a bar, so some people do have sex in there. Okay. Yeah, I've been to some bars as well. And I've been to bars where there's... <laughs> I've seen some things. I've seen some shit. Um, this isn't the standard, like, this isn't, you know, this isn't this is like a standard shopping centre kind of experience when you go to the toilet, right? So this was like a, this was a bar. Um, it was, oh, what was it? can't remember where it was now but it was definitely a bar which 
which was very open-minded shall we say um and there was toilets and the toilets were like they had toilets next to each other no not tilt already no that was horrible oh my god that was oh jesus christ oh you're bringing you're bringing it back no 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 <laughs> it's literally gonna come back soon no i'm talking about somewhere else and i can't quite remember where it was but it was a i think it was like a it was like a, a sex place i guess and they had um they had um they had toilet seats and you, they had toilets next to each other so you could it was one cubicle with two toilets and you could sit next to each other and hold hands do a poo or whatever do a wee <laughs> and there were mirrors everywhere and you know yeah it was it wasn't it wasn't in a shopping center let me put it that it was not in an airport i've been to some funny times <laughs> don't judge me Okay, you used to work in a student bar. Yeah, okay. It's going to be a slightly different experience. It's getting worse a little bit, isn't it? Well, yeah, a little bit worse. But also, I'm still enjoying it though. Because I'm, you know, it's, I've got a new new fresh account. Almost up to a thousand, I think, soon. It gets worse and worse. Half the posts on the timeline are ads. Yeah. Really bad ads as well. 90% of the ads are Bitcoin bros or scams. I know the amount of hate on those. Jesus, what? Indeed. I hate a lot of angry people on Twitter. I'm getting a lot of angry male energy. Because, you know, most of these, most of the tests, right, they got profile pictures of women. they got women names. They are fucking men. They are men. There's no question in my mind at all. So it's it's hilarious because the, so the men pretending to be women, accusing trans women of pretending to be women. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no no that's no, that's what you're doing <laughs> how do you not see this and then they talk about you know assaulting women in bathrooms it's like well, yeah because that's what i do if i was a trans woman i just go into a bathroom and i assault all the women it's like so trans women shouldn't I be allowed to do that it's like no no no, no, but that's what you would do. You're talking about yourself. Again. When you're talking about protecting women's spaces, you're literally talking about protecting women's spaces from people like you, not like me. <laughs> Protecting women's spaces from yourself. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny. It would be more funny if it wasn't so tragic. No, they usually leave their underwear behind. What? Surprisingly often, actually. Okay. <laughs> So they don't wash it. They leave it dirty, I guess. Ooh, so you've got quite a collection, I assume. <laughs> Thousand stars. Yeah, Twitter's a cesspit and there's no moderation now. There is a bit, there's still a bit, but it's not it's not as much as it was. It's quite still quite satisfying to get people banned. I still get people banned. We're starting to then must tuck over and got rid of it all now. So most tweets are either spam, replied, or hate. I stick to threads and blue sky mainly now. Tilt. Oh my god. And that is just okay. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna king shame. It's 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 interesting. I <laughs> know. I don't. I didn't. So I just want to say that I, I was just passing through. I can't. I can't remember what what club it was. But I wasn't. Like I wouldn't go to such a place. You know. No. I just. I was. I was there by accident. Honestly. <laughs> I really can't remember where I was. Shit. It was hilarious. 
Was it Hamburg? Oh, I can't. Up until last year, I went to local swingers club regularly, so no, no, no judgment here. I know I'm only joking. Of course, there's no judgment. I often join bathrooms at swinger clubs. Apparently. Admission in the, yes, I really, the admission is always in the accusation with these people. You do get uh, insight into the dirty minds, don't you? Which is unwanted. The latest discourse that I was looking at, oh, discourse, was... um. No, there was one that was really stupid about trans men and trans women. Trans men and trans women, it's like, come on, we're both on the same side, people. Stop being such, such dicks about things. Like, we have more in common than we have differences, you know, I think, between trans women and trans men. Like, you know, we have shared oppression right there. Like, yes, it's different, but also there's a lot of similarities. So anyway, it's not that discourse, because I don't want to get into that shit. I don't, I don't, I don't really have much time for that. <sighs> oh, I can't remember what it was now. We used to have an underwear wall in the security office. It was, it usually got removed and tossed a couple of times a year. There was actually one girl coming back asking if we had found a matching set of Victoria's Secret underwear, bra and panties, and we just went, well, yes. She got it back, oh wow, yeah, Victoria's Secret's quite expensive, so I'm not surprised she went in there. But also, you know, it's a good idea just to go check, hey, have you got any Victoria's Secret? Any honey butter? Um, no, okay, have you got any? <laughs> Save your fortune. Just give it a good wash when you get home. It's fine. <laughs> that is the only time someone did that that I can remember. I have really started to hate the word discourse, by the way. Discourse just means I believe I have a license to be shit to others nowadays. Give it a good wash when you go home. So I don't even well, yeah, or, or where if you, you know, if you got the right size, just, just keep it. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember what the, I remember what I was going to say. I remember the discourse now. The discourse is ridiculous, right? So it's um, it's claiming that trans women that do not disclose that we're trans and sleep with a guy have basically committed sexual assault. We've raped them because they didn't know that, th that we were trans. Okay? So that's what I, that's, that's some of the stuff that I've been seeing recently and it's laughable, but they, but you know, they go in all in on this. What do we think? Do we have any opinions on this ridiculous state of affairs? I do. No, it's not new. I know it's not new. That's not, it's, I mean, and, and you know what? It's never new. It always just keeps coming around in cycles, doesn't it? Of course. Hey, Evie. Good evening. Have you seen, have you seen the latest discourse? Well, you know, as, as Bluey says, it's not new. It's just the latest iteration. Trans women have to have to disclose that we're trans, even if we pass perfectly as cis, even if we've got had bottom surgery, all the stuff. We have to disclose that we're trans before we have sex with a man. Otherwise, we're basically raping them. I don't think that's how rape works, guys. I don't think that's actually rape. Right, I don't think it's rape. I know it's not rape. Oh, the poor little man, he's been raped. No, I don't think so. He He's had sex with a woman. Willingly. Consensually. It's like after the fact. 
You find out the women not the woman's actually a Trump voter or something. You find out that the woman, you know, she likes she likes football and you like rugby. Hey, oh my God! If I'd have known, I've been raped. <laughs> that's not that's not how it works. That's not, but that is their argument. No, you're right, it will probably get more on eBay if you don't wash it. Well, you're not allowed to do that, actually. You're not allowed to say that on eBay. But you have to, you could strongly imply it. <laughs> but it says, my opinion is that that's a ridiculous claim. Of course it is. Evie avoids the discourse. Excuse me, that's very wise. Very wise. But it's just something to talk about, isn't it? It's kind of interesting. I mean, it's, it is quite fun taking the piss out of them. So, they're such ridiculous. They're, so, they're such unserious people. I mean, I would be a bit miffed if someone didn't tell me. Okay, here we go. We got a cis guy in the chat. But mostly because I would feel they didn't trust me enough to tell me. But then again, if it's a one night stand, why the fuck would I care? Indeed. Indeed. Look, I'm sure it's going to come out eventually, right? So, if you know, if it becomes a relationship, you're, gonna, you're probably going to get told, right? But... It's not the kind of thing that a trans woman has to disclose straight away. You know, it just isn't. Like, if she's if she's passing completely, uh, then it's just like, you know. She's under no obligation as far as I'm concerned. And I know a lot of, you know what? I know a lot of, I know a lot of trans girls who've done it. You know, that's what they've done. And the stealth. Uh, they they pass absolutely no question, and you know, some they sometimes disclose, they sometimes don't. It's really up to them, and it's up to their. It's like you know, it's their situation, right? Don't start. It's it's the whole. What thing can we accuse trans people of this week? Because we think they are evil. They got a red con something, don't they? We are evil and deceptive. We like to deceive. That's what we like to do. We're so deceit, deceitful and deceptive. Okay. <sighs> Blush. It's like every year we pick a few things off the continuous queer discourse list and rehash them again as if they weren't. Also tired and overplayed by the 80s. Everything is rehashed homophobia, isn't it? Actually, it's all rehashed. I mean, this is this is all literally the same, exactly the same talking points as they as they were in the 80s. And and probably before. Instead of homophobia now, instead of talking about the gays, they talk about the chances. The good thing is that, you know, you just ask a guy on the street, you ask anyone on the street, literally, any just normal, you know, just average person, you know, 99, oh, no, no, 999 out of 1,000 will be like, yeah, no, I didn't really, I don't really have a strong opinion on it. It's like, you know, they, they seem pretty happy to do, just, you know, it's like, I just say, let them get on with their lives, they're not really hurting anyone. Anyway, I'm going to the shops, I've got to go, bye. And that's literally... As much thought as I'll ever give it. Ariel, now that I would consider sexual trust as a Trump supporter. <laughs> I would have to dip it in chlorine or something. <laughs> yeah, is that your... You'll have to go to therapy for years for that one, huh? <laughs> I did have sex with someone I later found out was a Tory. Oh my God, which made me feel sad, but also explained why they were awful in bed. <laughs> it's still not rape, is it? But yeah, it's, you know. 
<laughs> Personally, I'd tell anyone I have it, I expect to have sex with, because fuck that. I don't want to, well, already I'm in the, well, okay, but is this in the future, right? Is this in the future when you are, you know, if, let's say, you, let's say you're cis-passing, you know, and you've had surgery and all this kind of stuff. Because I think this is, so I think this is a question, this is a question specifically for younger trans girls who, who just pass, who just a hundred percent pass, you know, no question. Because it, I mean, it doesn't have to be just for them, sure, right? But that that simplifies the scenario, you know, simplifies the argument. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to let a transphobe enjoy my body. No, of course not. If they have an issue with fucking me simply because I'm trans, that does make them a transphobe. And I don't want sex with people who hate me simply for who. No one wants to. No one does, right? No trans person wants to have sex with someone who doesn't like them. So that so you know. It's a non-starter, honestly. But I think, you know, a lot of trans, a lot of stealth trans girls, you know, they're like 10, 20 years into it or whatever. And they've kind of just forgotten. They, like, being trans is just not, it's not a big deal. It's like they, they, they don't really even think about it. And so they don't they don't think about it. And it's not something that's on their mind all the time. They're just getting on with their life. And they're sort of just living as a, as a cis person at that point, you know? Or as close as a trans person ever can get to that. Honestly, I think that's great. Good on them. thousand so hello before we have sex would you like to see my medical records isn't the good chat up line it's no actually it's not it doesn't tend to work evie this isn't a problem i will likely ever have i don't expect ever to pass a cis nor do i really feel the need to i just want to feel happy in my own body but my wife already knows i'm trans considering we've been together for nearly nine years before i realized i was trans oh thanks for the video here's indy suitable it's from the temple of doom but never mind No, you know, it's not a problem that many of us, it's not a problem. It's not something that we have to think about too much. It doesn't necessarily apply to us, but but you can see that it's going to apply to a lot of other girls, right? In all honesty, if there was someone that really thought that they probably would out themselves, if there was someone that really thought that they probably would out themselves as a bigot anyway and be off the menu for me anyway, of course you kind of get people, you know, you don't just, it's not random, you do get a vibe for people, you do a vibe check, even if, even if it's literally just for a one night stand, there's, there's an awful lot of vibe checking going on. So really they'd have to be deceiving you because you'd have to be under the impression that they were actually a decent person. Hmm. Because the question goes the other way as well. It's like, how much, how often do men deceive in order to get sex? It's like, if, if this is a question of deception, you know, if you're framing this around the concept of deceiving in order to have sex, which honestly, trans people don't need to tend to do. Um, but if that's the framing, then let's just throw it straight back at the cis men. How often do you deceive a woman in order to have sex with them? Because wouldn't that be, is under the same argument? Isn't that right? I think the, I think the answer is a lot. Excuse me. Mm. Bluish. That that said, depending on the situation, a quick when did you get last get test, tested would would be on my list of things to want to know. Oh, totally. Always practice safe sex, and you know, 
always be... Oh, I mean, that's a perfectly valid question, right? You know, when was the last time you had sex and when was the last time you got tested? I think that's always a good couple of questions for sure. Statue, look at this statue. It's good. I do not know what I'm building here, I really don't. Oh, okay, oh yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, not quite finished. <laughs> Alrighty, do people have a right to know your trance? Nah, I don't even think a future partner does if you want to go 100% stealth. I think you're right, Aurelia. I think you're right. Like they don't have a, they don't have an automatic right. I think that that's, I guess that's the thing to, to understand. You have, you know, you are not obligated to disclose, right? You probably will want to, you know, I assume if you, if you know, if you really trust them and if you've got to a certain point, it might be a secret that you don't want to keep from them. But also, if you still do want to, that's totally your choice. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Right, have I missed something? I seem to have... Yeah, I've missed, I've missed these two bits. Okay, check it out. I really like this actually. It's great. It's um, it's like had a mouth and a tongue and stuff. It looks brilliant. <laughs> so that. So he goes on here. Like so, he goes on this one. That snake keeps falling out. I'm just going to put the snake over here. And I think I've missed missed a bit. Some, where are these going? Um, hey? No, I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, I know. Oh, it's going to go under the arms. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that's cool. Edel, I feel a setback, a bit of a setback to like old time 4chan. The dumbasses bitching about traps. Oh, yeah. Sorry for the moniker, but that was what they used and called themselves back then. And they're moaning over them seconds later when they post pics. I'm 100% sure that this shows up in the search history on all of the guys pretending to hate trans browsers. Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure there's a huge overlap. You know, you got these two circles. And it's not a it's not a perfect circle. It's not like the same circle, but there's like a you know a big big overlap there. Thousand stars. Oh yeah, how many lie about their job, salary, etc., to impress women? Absolutely. And the radio agrees. This bloody this. It's true. Always six six six. Of course, of course. Okie dokie, this is looking pretty good, I think. There's one more bag to do. So I'm building another one of these. No. Is it only? Hmm. Okay, I guess that's... Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know, I might save this bag, actually. I might save this bag for next time. I think I will. I think I'll save this bag for next time. Ariel, isn't that like the way guys have done it for decades upon decades? Well, boys will be boys, aren't they? So, yes, it is, but it doesn't make it right. The above remark about stealth in mind, though. If some people in your life do know your chance, I think it's best if you do tell a prospective partner. It will eventually slip in conversation. It's really up to them.
one would only one must only assume that they, if they didn't want to do it, they would have their reasons. But yes, secrets are a bit tricky, aren't they? Secrets are a bit tricky. They make things they make things difficult. They certainly can. Okay, I think uh, I think we're finished for now. I will. Um, so this is what we got. Got one statue, one big statue. There's another one to go, which uh, oh, goes on here. And then there's a there's a wall to build as well. And I think I'll do that next time because I'm a bit tired now. And also, my front bottom hurts, as usual. Let let down my front bottom again. Yeah, there's one bag for next time. That'll be good. That'll be a good thing to do. Uh, my old my old DAO Sea Guild had two people who called themselves traps. And another lesbian couple where one party was trans, and I assume still is, but it has been 20 years. There were never any signs, no? None. But like a few people caused them trouble and got shown the boot and warnings were shared with other guild leaders. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? You've been going for about three hours. I have Twitch shows a timestamp that death doesn't hold up. Huh? Oh, what does it say? I don't see it. Um, let's raid someone. I'm going to hand you over to someone. Uh, so let's see who we want to raid. An hour and 38 minutes. No, it's definitely been a bit more than that. What's going on there? There's not that many people on. So we got Amy isn't there. She's playing a football game. But you know what? This football game looks pretty good. I've not seen this one. What is this called? Pixel Cup Soccer. Pixel Cup Soccer? That looks really good fun actually. I think we're going to raid Amy isn't there. I don't know if I've ever raided her before, honestly. I don't know who she is, but we're going to raid her. Because <laughs> apparently I follow her. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, no problem. It's been a nice time. Evil says I didn't go on when Maya started. I was on late, and I have I had the same time. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the time. But it, the, the 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 stream's kind of messed up somehow. I don't know what it is. Read, paste. Okay, we're gonna raid. Amy isn't there, oh, no, or, or or here? No, it's here. I've counted too many T's. Amy isn't here. That's who we're raiding. She's playing um, She's playing games and it's the Pixel Cup Soccer Ultimate Edition. It looks really cool actually. I've not, I don't know what platform it is. Um, but it's just basically really cute uh, football. Um, and it's really clear what's happening. I, I do quite like it. You know how, uh, the, you know, FIFA and stuff, they try and go ultra realistic all the time. This is not even bothering to do that. And I, I I, I admire that. I you know I appreciate that. So we are gonna we're gonna start the raid. Thank you everyone for joining me this this Wednesday evening. I'll be back tomorrow to finish this off um, and have some more fun and chat. Um, so I hope you can join me then. I'll see you uh, see you all soon. Hopefully, um, take care of yourselves and bye bye for now. <coughs>